I'm, I'm very worried about like when I'm listening to people, making sure that I'm making the right face when they're talking to me. That's one of the things that come into my mind a lot. And it happened recently at work. I was talking with my boss. And mid-conversation, he told me that he had a husband. And up until that point, I didn't even know he was gay. <laughs> you ever find out someone's gay mid-conversation? <laughs> and now all your energy is focused on not moving? <laughs> You want to play it cool, you don't want to, you want to be normal. And he was so casual. He, he usually say, he goes, me and my husband went to Trader Joe's. And the moment he said that, I was like, okay, Peter, keep your head perfectly still. Don't break eye contact. Don't move your eyebrows. The eyebrows are the most important part. They give away everything. You can't be like, me and my husband went to Trader Joe's, and you're like, And I have to try to play it off. You're like, there's a Trader Joe's around here? <laughs> Tell me where. <laughs> I have a good relationship with my boss. You know, like we have like candid conversations about stuff. And he told me that like when he came out to his parents that they kicked him out of the house because they're very religious. They're very big on the Bible. The Bible says if you're gay, you go to hell. And I was, I'm like, you know, believe whatever you believe, but I just can't believe that's the most, that's such a drastic punishment for being gay. When they find out you're gay, you go to hell? Hell? So in hell, it's Adolf Hitler, and right next to him, your neat roommate from college. That's the devil's A-team. That's his squad. And when Adolf Hitler comes down, the devil's like, oh, Adolf, Mr. Hitler, what, what did you do to come down here? And Hitler's like, I kill the Jews, I do the Holocaust, and I do, I can't, I can't do a German accent, by the way, I don't know. I don't know if that's clear. That's Italian, I guess. That's, Pepperoni pizza! <laughs> and the master race! <laughs> and the devil's like, ooh, you nasty bitch. Ah, I love it. And you, Mr. Gay Man, what did you do to come out here? He's like, I love the man secretly and hurt nobody. And they're like, oh, you're even more fucked up than the last guy. Ah, let's take over the world. I don't I just think people get really serious about, about homosexuality. When I think like, even if you don't like it, why is it that extreme? Like countries that have banned homosexuality where it's illegal to be gay, the penalty is death. They kill you for being gay over there. Saudi Arabia, that's the case. And I'm like, it's so extreme. There's not one place where it's illegal to be gay and they just give you a ticket. <laughs> Start small. <laughs> Just have like street signs warning people not to do that. Like, you can't do gay stuff over here. Specifically between 10 and 11. And you come home, you're like, oh shit, they got me. $100. You believe this shit? I'm gonna fight it. There's no way. I finished them up at 9.59. <laughs> at my job, it's all right. Like, I, 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 I think it's okay. One thing I, that gets me, though, is every single day they do a 30-minute meeting about the finances and the health of the company, and it makes me want to run my head into the glass and fall out of the building. Every day they do that. But my, my boss tries his best to make it fun. He started bringing these like icebreakers, like questions to kind of get everyone loosened up. It's always the first slide of the PowerPoint. It'll be like, if you could have one breakfast for the rest of your life, <laughs> would you rather French toast or waffles? And he'll look around like, yeah. <laughs> 
no rules at this company, anything could happen. <laughs> and then people get really excited to answer these questions <laughs> for children. <laughs> There's this old lady at my job, every day. <laughs> Oh, she's so, every time, uh, I love French toast. I put cinnamon on it, it's delicious. And then there's someone that has to debate her. <laughs> oh, waffles have squares. <laughs> and my boss always picks on me, he's like, Peter, what about you? And they go, oh, uh, well, I would like the building to collapse. <laughs> for there to be zero survivors. <laughs> that okay? He likes picking on me a lot. He just does that. One time the first question, the first line, if a genie were to grant you three wishes, what would they be? Peter. <laughs> I had to like come up with something right away. Oh, my first wish would be f uh, for the company to finish uh, in the strongest financial quarter uh, ever. That's all three of my wishes. I just want the company to grow. <laughs> I can't say the truth at work. My wishes at a workplace do not fit. They are inappropriate and weird. This is true, I've thought about this. My first wish, if I were given one by a genie, truly, would be to add four inches to my penis. 100% true. And I thought, I used to think it was stupid, and I was like, no, this is a good idea. Because what else would I wish for? Of like a million dollars? If I work hard enough, maybe one day I'll make a million dollars. But no matter what I do. <laughs> not growing four inches on my penis. No matter how much weight I'm tying to the end of it and throwing it off a bridge or something. So that would be my first wish to the genie, I guess. But I also would have to be like specific because genies like to trick you. So I'd have to word it a specific way. I'd be like, oh, my first wish is to add four inches to the front <laughs> of my penis. And even then he might get me. He goes, all right, here's your four inches. And it goes shaft, head, and shaft again. <laughs> He seals it off, it's like an elbow. I can't use it. It's not gonna be fast either. He's gonna get slow and painful. I have to push it out. Nice. Who knows, maybe I like it so much, I'm like, you know what, for my second wish? Four more inches. Come on, four more. All right, at that point, it's stupid. At that point, the genie would be like, right, what, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Two wishes on your dick? I've been sitting in a lamp for 400 years, and I came out for this bullshit? And I have to be like, oh, that's funny. Um, I don't remember wishing to hear your fucking opinion. <laughs> you know what, just for your sass, my third wish is for you to suck my now big dick. How about that, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> <laughs> 